All right, he's making here, and so this is the next part of the string three project. So I think I finally got pretty much all the parts together here. All right, um, uh, I think the last video I shot was on the uh, painting the solar panel frames. All right, I painted the solar panel frames with pour fifteen. All right, those are still sitting on the side of the house. I got my super strut. All right, it wasn't easy to get. I had to put it on my trailer. All right, my my harbor freight trailer over there all right that thing has been the solar panel uh solar solar panel transport system <laughs> i just want to say i, I could because uh this thing won't fit in here unfortunately it's not long enough if it was maybe like a foot longer inside it, we could probably fit this but not quite unfortunately my van will just swallow this right up man <laughs> sort of kind of uh but anyway yeah i got the super strut all right um, I got the two super struts and I got a conduit, all right, the, I, the IMC, the intermediate conduit, just sitting right here. Okay, I don't think we're going to need to cut it like last time. We're just going to put it side by side with the conduit that we ran last time. I was thinking we could probably use that same conduit. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll take a look at it, but we'd have to change the connector. We'd have to put a, a bigger connector in it. And so I think it's just better to just run another pipe. It, it's not a big deal. I already bought it already anyways, but I, good, that's a good question. Can you fit four of those six gauge wires in there? I think so. I think you can. And there's not any really complicated bends in it too. We might be able to just run another wire through there. <laughs> I didn't think about that, but that's okay. I already bought all the stuff. So just go run and run to do two runs side by side. That's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, I, I don't think we can put a fourth string. There's no way we're going to put a fourth string up, all right, um, for this system, all right. If we uh, we could add another solar panel, if we have another um, another inverter, all right, another inverter charger. But that would mean we'd have to make another home run. So we'd have to have another wire coming out of that wall, which is which would be kind of annoying. <laughs> it's got a bit of ass to build to build this one right here, okay. But we we could just follow that. I'm pretty sure you're not putting you're not putting four wires through that. I mean, I guess you could. I should try. I should try. I think I have some spare six gauge wires lying around. Uh, but those, see those bends that I use? They're really tight. I, I don't think the uh, four wires will go through that. We'd have to change the bends to like something like this, something thicker, something more spacious inside. Um, than those little pull boxes, man. We need a big, big pull box, not a little pull box. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, yeah, we could totally do that. We wanted to add more panels later, uh, but I think uh, I think we'll go with the three for now. All right, uh, a winter's a fast approaching, man. We're in the fall time, so uh, um, we're every day. I know it's like every, well, every month I've, I'm getting less and less power, so we need to uh, get that uh, third string up before uh, winter time rolls along okay um, and we'll, we can take a look at the our my yearly power generation um, after October I think my, my plan is to get this all up by the end of October all right by Halloween uh, so so like I can have the get the power statistics for this month and then and then next month will be we'll have the third string up it, it'll mess it up so <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say okay so anyway this is all the stuff um, I got the uh, I had the extension already. I cut it. All right. I already put. I had some ex. I had the extra extension from last time. So uh, and I cut it to the same length. These are them. Uh, what I'm trying to do right now is we're going to install these on the super strut right now. All right. So we'll put the extensions on there and then I will do a mock up sometime this week. The mock up is there to make sure we have all the bolts and everything and all the nuts and stuff are in the right place when we put it place it on the roof. Um, I bought. Oh, I bought the flashings and the fast jacks, but I bought the wrong flash, uh, fast jack system. All right, I bought. Um, I think I bought the one that doesn't work on the roof. All right, it doesn't. It doesn't work with this. I guess I could have modified it so it does work. I could have grinded it, but I was like, no, no, just return it and buy the right one. So that's what I did. I returned it and I bought the right ones. I'm still waiting on those. So we. Um, that's the first thing we need to do is install these. So I need those like ASAP. So I already ordered it last week. Hopefully we'll get it this week. Eco Direct is pretty fast, all right? And the last thing I bought was a bunch of these lock washers. We'll be putting it on this, okay? Keep this from backing out. And then um, and then I bought conduit bodies, okay? So we'll be using these when we run the conduit, but that'll be like the last thing we do, okay? Um, okay, so I got, I also made the end, 
the end brackets, all right, the four end brackets that we're going to need. I haven't drilled the holes yet. Um, I did, oh yeah, I got the washers I needed for them. I made sure I got the right washers this time because last time I got the wrong ones. So this will be, oh, okay, I'm going to have to. So I think what we did last time is we, I grinded it. I flattened it out a little bit. So the washer fits in there perfect. So we're going to flatten that out a little bit, push it in there, then to drill a hole right there, all right? It, this needs to fit. This The washer needs to be yeah, that big, okay, guys? It has to fit. Uh, last time I had too small a washer, and it was, it was crushing this guy when we were installing it. So I made sure it, it's actually pretty thick. It's much wider. It's a little wider than the thing, but that's, that's okay. I was like, oh, it's, the wider the better. <laughs> I made it a little bit wider than this. Okay, but yeah, I got everything. Um, yeah, so uh, my, my plan is to install these today on the two super struts, and then that's it, all right? And then to, tomorrow or sometime this week, I'm going to lay the super strut in the backyard like I did before. And then put the solar panels on and everything and hook everything up. So oh, I only got one here right now. The other one's still on the side of the house. But there it is. It's in it a thing of beauty. All right. The system's still up there. Um, I think when we go back, when I, when I go back up there to check everything out, I, I kind of already did kind of look at everything and everything looks good. We'll give the solar panels a good clean while I'm up there. Um, I just, yeah, I think it rained recently, so it cleaned them a bit, so... But everything looks good. Still looks good up there, right? The 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 ground wires are kind of corroding a little bit, but it's okay. That's that, that's what that's what happens to them, man. <laughs> They're exposed wires, so okay. But everything still looks like it's good up there. I will double check all the bolts and stuff while I'm up there too, to see if they're still good. But everything looks good. It's been up there for more than a year now, and they look great, and they're working great too. Okay, so. I'll, I'll show you uh, what I get done today, and then that'll be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Okay, there we go. I got the rail extensions on there. That's all I got to get done today, all right? And so now we're ready to go put this thing together. All right, I guess I can put the end, the end covers on it for now. Yeah, maybe we could do that. I'm not sure. We don't have to. But there it is. It went on there pretty well. I tried to center it as best as I can. It's probably a little crooked, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, um, I basically it's the same as the other ones. All right, so if you remember correctly, the solar panel has to go over this. This has to be inside the solar panel, like right here, okay? Also, I don't know if I did this last time, but I put uh, spring lock washers, all right? Um, stainless steel ones too, good stuff. So yeah, the solar panel, the frame has to go over this, okay? So there'll be this part. The part here won't have a whole lot sticking out, okay? But there'll probably be some, like maybe a, a foot sticking out on the other side. All right, that's that's totally fine. All right, just like this one. It's gonna look exactly like this one. So yeah, I know the frame is like about an inch thick, so it's gonna it's gonna wind up being here. The the bracket will be like right here, okay? And then the, wherever this one lands, that one that's where that one lands, okay. We'll, we'll try to line it up as best as we can the other one. It doesn't have to line up perfectly with it, but ideally, yeah, <laughs> I would like it to line up perfectly. All right, you've got a you've got a lot of it so these super struts are are also uh what is it? They're they're slotted, all right? So they so you don't have to line it up perfectly, all right? Um you've got some wiggle room, you can slide it back and forth, so that's on me, but that one looks really good, man. I did a really good job on that one. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, the next video we'll go, we'll do the mock up, all right, in the backyard, and then uh, we'll see if everything bolts up without, um, you know, if I need it, if I'm missing anything, and then, and then, yeah, that'll be the end of the, then, and then we'll be the, you know, the real deal, all right, the real, we're gonna go up there and install them. Okay. All right, here's me go. Okay, so here's the stuff, the magic I got for the wiring, all right? So this is still part of the prep video, all right? So there's our ground wire. I bought it today, 15 feet, 6 gauge. Good stuff, all right? And I, we just measured it, and I think that should be fine. These are all our flashings, all right? I got the right ones this time. All right, these are what need to be installed first, all right? There's flashings and the fast jacks from last time. Okay, same old stuff. 
If you know how to do it, it's got the six rings, six flashings, six fast jacks, six lag bolts, and six bolts for the uh, the rails. Okay. And I don't remember. Hmm. You know, what? I don't remember if I put any kind of washer on this. I mean, it's already a it's already a flanged thingy. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to go up there and look at the other one. Okay, and there's our there's our extension wire. All right, that's that six gauge stuff that we've been using. All right, it's good stuff. And I'm, I've got a kit for the uh, the MC4 connectors. We're gonna have to. I think the last the, what we did last time is I just took the connector out. I took the connector out, but I left the core in because the we didn't have to. I didn't have any extra cable last time, so I think that's what's gonna happen this time too. So. It should be pretty similar is what I want to say. Um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully it'll reach. It might not be enough. Maybe, uh, maybe we might have to extend it. I'm not sure. I might have some extra. <laughs> oh, no, no, man. I have this. Yeah, this is all the extra I have. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, hopefully we won't need extra. If we need extra, we'll have to go to Home Depot and buy some and then solder it up on the roof. Um, anyway, so I've got these fuses. So... Um, what I heard, all right. Well, well, what I what I've read on the internet is if you have uh, more than two strings, you need to have uh, a fuse for each each line, all right. Um, and we're going to be using this, all right. If you remember correctly, we used the Renogy um, combine combiner. Lily, these are all right. So these are Bouge RV branch connectors all right and you see they're three into one all right so they'll take three reds and three blacks and combine it to one red or black okay that's it i think i paid 16 i paid 16 dollars for it i'll put a link in the the video description if you'd like to order some they were 16 bucks um what's the reason i bought them because they can handle it was said to handle okay there we go it's rated for 30 amps okay so um if I remember correctly, man, that's not a lot. I think about it, 30 amps. Um, these solar panels, the solar panels put out, uh, every string puts out about roughly 10 amps, okay? So that's about 30 amps right there, okay? Um, and it's, how, what gauge is it? 10 to 14 gauge, hmm. Hopefully this is strong enough, man. Okay, but anyway, we had problems with the other branch connectors, all right? And that's the reason why we're going to go with these ones instead, all right? Pretty nice. It's a little bit longer than the other one. They're still kind of flexy. All right, but the, the wiring is kind of small. That's what I don't like about it. So you're going to go from uh, bigger wires to, like, a smaller wire, you know, and then, then another bigger wire. This might get too hot. I'm not sure, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this is a good idea to use. Maybe I might want to go with something else. But I think, well, it says it's rated for 30 amps. It should be fine. Um, we're not really using more than 30. Oh, yeah, actually, I think 50 amps is how much the fuse is for the wire. Okay. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to have to install a fuse on each one of these, okay? On, on the positive, I guess. Whichever one the positive is. And then, um, so when, uh, so one of them is a 20 amp and two, there's two 10 amps, okay? Um, the there's a minimum fuse rating all right on the uh, solar panels so if uh, if one of the solar panels goes bad um, the fuse will blow all right and that way it won't it won't back feed the current to the other solar panels and like start a fire or something okay so that's the reason we have these so we're going to run these the only thing is I don't know where to find the fuses on this I might open it up before we install them and then see take a picture of the fuses and stuff so if the fuse does pop we can uh we can thing okay so i'm not really sure i know i i, I didn't realize that these are that these aren't six gauge wires man so you, you want to keep all the wiring the same all right guys <laughs> okay so i looked on the ad all right for the on the amazon page so each each branch um, is rated for 30 amps, right? These are 30 amps, and, and um, so we're only putting 10 amps in. That's perfect, right? Putting like 120 volts, but only like no more than 10 amps. I guarantee you that, all right? And then, um, and then the main, the main branch, all right? These guys, I guess this is the thicker one. This is the uh, 10 gauge. 
because it says 10 to 14. I guess these are 14, and these are 10 gauge or something. And then the, the main one is rated for 40 amps, okay? So that's fine, all right? So if even if we're pushing like 30 amps, well, it should be 10. You shouldn't have more than 10, right? So because that would be that would be 30 already, right? And 40. But it, sh it should be fine, all right? For, for our application, it should be fine, all right? But yeah, that does create a little bottleneck in the wiring is what I'm going to say. Okay. But yeah, it should be fine, all right? But yeah, I've got the fuses for each of the strings. Uh, another thing we could do is use a combiner box, all right? Um, that's a little, it's basically a fuse box, guys, is what it is, all right? Um, or it's a breaker panel. It's basically a breaker panel for your solar panels, okay? And the H1 will have a breaker. The good thing about it is um, if you do trip a breaker, you can you can flip it back on, right? This one, if you blow a fuse, you got to replace the fuse. So that's the, that's the bad thing. So now the system becomes more complex and it needs more maintenance, you know. But hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be okay, okay? Okay, so that's the end of the prep video. Um, tomorrow we'll try to put the the flashings and maybe the rails up. All right. Um, all right. Thanks for watching. Here's me up.